Tonight, asteroid 877 Alinda, a massive rock wider than Manhattan, is making a close approach to Earth. No need to worry, at a distance of 7.6 million miles, there's no risk of a collision. But this near miss reminds us that the universe has its share of close calls, and some asteroids on the horizon could pose far greater risks. 877. Alinda belongs to a category of near-Earth objects, or NEOs. Celestial bodies that pass close enough to Earth to grab our attention. While Alinda's approach is completely safe, it's a reminder of the bigger threats that lie ahead, one of which we will face in just a few years. That threat is asteroid 99942 Apophis, which will make its closest approach to Earth on Friday, April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right, Friday the 13th, Apophis, a rock over 1,100 feet wide, will pass within 19,000 miles of Earth, closer than many of our own satellites. This is a distance so small it has scientists around the world paying very close attention. When Apophis was discovered in 2004, initial calculations suggested a 2.7% chance of it colliding with Earth in 2029, a truly terrifying prospect. Thankfully, further studies seem to rule out an impact. But its incredibly close flyby will offer an unprecedented opportunity for scientists to study an asteroid up close. And it's also a stark reminder of how unpredictable these celestial bodies can be. Even though the odds look better for humanity in 2029, we can be sure that we will all be holding our collective breath as this giant rock passes between us and the very satellites that power our GPS devices. Even slight changes in an asteroid's trajectory, caused by gravitational pulls or even sunlight, can alter its future path dramatically. While Apophis is expected to pass safely in 2029, these tiny variables show just how delicate the balance is when it comes to asteroids and Earth. Looking further into the future, asteroid 101955 Bennu presents an even more concerning possibility. Bennu is much larger, over 1,600 feet wide, and has a 1 in 2,700 chance of impacting Earth in the year 2182. That might sound like long odds, but if Bennu were to collide with Earth, it would release energy equivalent to 1.4 billion tonnes of TNT. That's more than 100,000 times the energy of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. For some context, scientists believe the impact would cause global firestorms and consider the potential collision an extinction-level event. NASA has already taken proactive steps to study Bennu. In 2021, the OSIRIS-REx mission collected samples from the asteroid, providing invaluable data about its composition and trajectory. This knowledge is critical not just for scientific understanding, but for developing potential strategies to deflect or mitigate future threats. While the risks posed by asteroids like Apophis and Bennu are relatively low, the stakes couldn't be higher. 66 million years ago, an asteroid impact wiped out the dinosaurs and reshaped Earth's ecosystems. Even smaller impacts like the Tunguska event in 1908 caused devastating damage without ever reaching the ground. To ensure we're prepared, NASA and other space agencies are working on planetary defense systems. One breakthrough was NASA's DART mission, which successfully altered the orbit of a test asteroid. It was a historic first step in proving that we have the technology to defend against potential impacts. As asteroid 877, Alinda, passes harmlessly tonight, it offers us an opportunity to reflect. Events like these are a reminder of the vastness of space and the importance of staying vigilant. Monitoring, studying and preparing for asteroid threats isn't just a scientific endeavour. It's about ensuring the safety of our planet for future generations. If you're stargazing tonight, you might spot a Linda near the constellation Gemini with a good pair of binoculars. And while it poses no danger, its presence is a quiet nudge from the cosmos. A reminder that we should never take our safety for granted. To stay updated on the latest science and technology news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app on YouTube or at breakingthrough.com.